Okay, so uh, where do we start? Um, I've done a lot of musicals in the past. Like, um, asking you guys, what's the hardest? <laughs> Look at you, you're like, I love it. <laughs> I was like, what? I love ya. <laughs> <laughs> what's the hardest thing about being in a musical? Probably, oh man, I don't know. It's all fun. And the hardest part is probably the most fun part as well, and it's the, it's the preparation. Yeah. It's the like, hardest part for me, honestly, was leaving. Leaving oh, the set yeah. and going yeah. home, that was That's the hardest point. part, because you become family, and it's then like, you all got to go home. It's like high school, you know, it's like you feel you come together, you get, you get your best it's group like of friends. It's like a really good summer camp. And then you just... Yeah. It, you end it. It's like a really good summer camp, yeah. which is right, and then it's gone. So it's like, oh, that's why we come back and do press. Find so your fun. summer love. Get to see Nick here. See you yeah. okay, I have to ask you about this. Today on the internet, somebody sent me something that TeenHollywood.com. My part of my research was reading all the like Teeny Bopper magazines. Mm -hmm. Of course, There's all this stuff about like you guys are best friends, and but this one is like, I like big girls. Yeah. Oh, is that what I said? Yeah. yeah. He does. It's like because yeah. they're larger than life and they're comfortable in their skin. So I'm we'll rock right. on. It's true. It's That's true. Sweet. I always, I always say it's so funny. <laughs> but one of the main reasons I can relate to Link is because you know I'm not all about these like super, super skinny, perfect girls. That, yeah. That's so Hollywood. It's that's not what girls are about. It's self confidence. It's it's um, <laughs> sense of humor. It's fun. It's what you do. It's how comfortable you it's are. How you shake your stuff. And that's yes. yeah. And, and that Mickey's is what got, you do. Mickey's got some stuff to shake. Yeah. Ah! And I shook yeah. it all for him, shit. didn't I? <laughs> <laughs> so uh, so what is the nature of your guys' relationship? Best pal. Well, no, no, no. We can't. We don't want to say. We oh. don't like to leave that open. The yeah. mystique of the film. Yeah, yeah. we, we keep it between still? us. Oh yeah, we see each other all the time. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, watching the film, I was thinking, you know what? This is going to be in years to come, like this generation's Greece, and high schools will be doing this. This show. That's so exciting. But what do you guys think yeah. about that? That's cool. I mean, it was it was such a great. Great show to begin with. I'm glad that this movie is sort of going to get it out there even more. I almost like, feel like it's impossible to do, but... but I um. had the weirdest experience. My my middle school did a reenactment at their chorus concert of Mama and Big Girl Now, and there was yeah. somebody playing Tracy, and I was just like, oh, and I went back and surprised the kids, and yeah. it was just the craziest thing. The, the fact that people are going to be doing our performances is unbelievable. Yeah. Yeah. And so I almost feel cheap because it's like, I don't... I, I'm not the first guy who's played this character, and there's there's so many great people who have... Um, you know, done Leap before, and I'm, I'm just taking this torch, but, you know, it's like, I don't know, it, it's so great to be yeah. a part of this movie, and we're all, we're all very, very lucky. Where do you guys see yourselves in, like, 20 years from now? Because, of course, John Travolta did Grease, and now he's, you know, gone on to do all these things. Have you guys kind of thought, where will I be in 20 years? I'm on the couch, and I'm... And I'm making him a sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, where is this going? Um, <laughs> one of the great things about this film is that it's got issues and it's about acceptance and all yes. that, but it doesn't really hammer it on your head. Yeah. Um, yeah. But one of the things when I was watching, I was like, I don't really get that, like the whole kind of exclusion thing, A, because it's a different era, and also how it is in Canada. Did you guys find that doing this movie set in 1960s, Baltimore, and then you come out in present-day Toronto, did you guys see that kind of difference, and how did you experience that? Yeah, yeah oh, definitely. Absolutely. I mean, we were so close and such good friends with all the dancers, whether they were, you know, the detention kids or the council kids. So, you know, to, to be having on screen, to be separated from them while we were dancing. But then when we'd go out with each other, we'd automatically be dancing together. It was it kind was of It was really funny because we were such good friends. Right. And then all of a sudden when we actually got to filming, it was like, oh, wait. I mean, there is going to be a velvet rope yeah. in between us and the dance. Mm -hmm. It was like... You know, we didn't know what to think. We just laughed. It was like, you've got to be kidding me. And, um, you know, then right, after, then right after that, we'd all go, go out dancing, and, and it was all, all together. intermixed. So Where did you guys like, go dancing in Toronto? I don't know. Oh, we went all around. We hit this town up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we loved it. It became our home. We miss yeah. it. Yeah. yeah. How long are you guys here for? We leave Two tomorrow morning. Away. What? I know. It's okay. such a tease. So you guys have to, like, go out and party time, like, hit all those clubs? We're, well, no, we're going to our premiere tonight. Yeah, but then after that, the night is We got our after party. You know, <laughs> who knows? Who knows? The yeah. night is young. Yes, it is. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. Thank you guys so much for having us. Thank you, you, you very much. Bye. Okay. Cool.